Hey Aquarius, this is Michael with your December 2022 reading. I want to wish you a happy holiday if you celebrate or observe any of those this month. I am really, really excited to get into your reading. We are just about on the precipice of a new year, and I actually do have a sale on all of my services right now. If you enter the code GOODTIDINGS at checkout on my website, you can get 20% off any of my services that includes readings, chart readings, and distance Reiki sessions. And it's really just a nice way to start off the year, making sure you're starting off on the right foot and kind of gives you a sense of what to focus on for the year ahead. I will be running the sale through the 21st. I may extend it. I may also have some other things going on as well. So it doesn't hurt to follow me if you haven't done that already. Be sure to hit like and subscribe as well. Helps the channel. Um, and I'm just really, really excited to see what we have in store for you this month. I already pulled some animal cards for you, Aquarius, and we have the turtle that came out, and we also had the hummingbird. Now, this was really funny to me because these two are almost opposite energies in some way. The turtle is a very slow, steady kind of energy. Hummingbird, hummingbird uh, moves very quickly. Don't know why I'm having a hard time speaking, um, but let's just roll with it. We have the turtle and the hummingbird, and there's kind of this disparity in, in pace. And I also thought of the turtle as having this shell, and oftentimes we speak of the turtle carrying its home on its back. It's always at home, and it's always protected. It just has that sense of security wherever it goes. Hummingbird is almost the opposite energy, because hummingbird is about traveling light finding sweetness, going from place to place, migrating quickly, moving quickly. Um, when I see the hummingbird energy, it does kind of make me think of travel or moving. I feel like some of you might be moving this month um, or, or planning to move or thinking about moving. That just might be something that go that's going on. Astrologically, there is a lot of focus on your social networks, on your hopes and dreams as well. So maybe this is you figuratively moving towards your hopes and wishes, um, kind of the legacy you want to leave behind. And when I also saw the turtle and the hummingbird, it kind of made me feel like you might need to let things go. Because that's kind of the teaching of the hummingbird. It's like lightening the burdens, lightening the load, so you are able to travel and maintain a high vibration and high energy. We did also have the back card as well, which makes me feel like you are shedding some things, you are letting things go. Bat often comes about when there are endings. We have the full moon in the back of this card as well. And for those of you who aren't aware, full moons generally do indicate culminations or completions of some kind, which is why I really feel like there is some sort of movement. There is some sort of change for you, um, which is kind of interesting. We do have a lot of focus, again, on, on kind of... Um, friendships and hopes and wishes, but towards the end of this month is also a very spiritual time. There is a letting go that is going to be happening once we get more into Capricorn season. We have Mercury and Venus entering into Capricorn on the 6th and 9th respectively before the Sun enters Capricorn on the solstice, the 21st. And this is really just kind of a reflective energy for you. And this month is also very much um, about letting go of old habits and, and things that aren't serving you, particularly with Mercury going retrograde right at the end of this month in Capricorn on the 29th. And um, really, it is kind of reviewing things. I, I really feel like with this year in particular, actually, like, it's almost like 2023 might feel like it doesn't begin until Mercury goes direct. So it might not connect for a, a couple of weeks until we, we hit that point where it's like, oh, yes, we are now in a new year. This is a new energy. We are setting the stage up. It's, it's all making sense now what 2023 is going to be about. So I, I feel like you're kind of wrapping up the year, even into January. I know we're talking about December, but that, that felt important to share. Um, we do have Saturn still in your sign. We are wrapping up those themes as well. And Saturn really is a planet that brings about restrictions and discipline and focus. 
and that all helps us succeed ultimately. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like some of you are shedding things. You're letting things go. You are letting things go that once made you feel safe and protected and contained with the turtle energy. It's almost like you have to step out of that comfort zone now in order to grow and move forward and really embrace your soul's purpose. So there's there's big energy, but it kind of feels like it, it's more abstract and behind the scenes, I dare say. Um, and I, I feel like for a lot of you, there could be this creative frustration or creative block this month as well. Um, you could be letting go or, or changing things in kind of your love life, especially if you're single or just dating casually. Um, and I, I say that because we have Mars in the sign of Gemini. And for you, Gemini represents romance, passion, creativity. And with Mars being retrograde, that can be kind of a frustrating sort of energy. And you might even be going through a situation where it's like, you're letting go of toxic relationships or people and you are channeling that creatively. And ultimately that is something that is kind of making you feel more connected to your purpose or to your hopes and dreams. So let's pull some tarot cards for you. Ooh, what, what, what do we have for Aquarius? Show us clearly, please. We have the Son of Swords showing up in the past. And maybe this is energy of people you are connecting to, especially this Gemini energy, interestingly enough. Could also be Libra or another Aquarius. Um, but I, I feel like regardless of how this is manifested in your life, I see this as a pattern of almost going from one thing to the next. And diving in very quickly without really thinking about things. Maybe, you know, spending a lot of money in hobbies or passions and not really pursuing them or following through. It's kind of a fickle energy when I see the Knight of Swords. I see someone who wants to charge in and do something but might not actually be looking at the long term and, and really acting in a strategic way. Um, and that could apply to really anything in your life. That could apply to romance. Um, you know, going from relationship to relationship or connection to connection, that could also just apply to the way that you are sort of dealing with your energy. Or this could just be someone you are connecting with this month, especially if you are connecting with a fellow air sign. We do have a few cards that came out together, and I actually do want to keep these. We have the Page or Daughter of Pentacles with the Four of Swords and the Four of of pentacles so there is a lot of holding back and that's actually that's these are cards that kind of signify what you've learned from the past so i feel like you've learned to be more um moderate i even want to use the word conservative although i'm not speaking in the political sense here i'm speaking more in like not um over investing or diving in too quickly it's like you've learned how to take your time with something and it's interesting how we had that, that turtle and hummingbird energy because I feel like the hummingbird wants to move quickly, but the turtle is like kind of moving in a more steady and sustained way. And I feel like a lot of you, this is talking both about your own energy with the Four of Swords and maybe even your resources with the Four of Pentacles. And as this applies to your wellness and spirituality, it's like some of you may be in a cycle where it's like you have gone from spiritual practice to product to teacher to workshop to, to all of these different things. But you're realizing it's, it's like always reaching, it's always searching, it's always trying to bring something external in. And I feel like what you've learned from the past is that you need to source this more internally and it's kind of doing simple hard work or or dedication you know what works for you what works for your wellness and again i'm, I'm just saying it some of you really are letting go of bad habits especially towards the end of december and into january you're letting go of things and beliefs and practices that no longer work for you, especially if they helped you cope. 
coping is not thriving. And I also want to say for you and, and for this group, self-care and aftercare are not the same thing. If your self-care always looks like aftercare, which is kind of healing or recovering from your lifestyle or, or from something, that's not sustainable in the long run. You need to have a more gradual approach to things. That's going to be what brings more success, actually, with the Ten of Pentacles. But we also have the Four of Cups. Um, and it's interesting kind of talking about all of these things, uh, kind of sourcing something from within, because this particular Ten of Pentacles, we have the Tenth Pentacle at the center of this innermost pentacle. And the Ten of Pentacles represents uh, abundance and wealth, but this specific one really speaks to how you need to have that solid foundation in yourself first, or you could keep accruing things or trying to build things because you don't have that sense of satiation or enough or fullness. And the Four of Cups really is like seeing things you may have overlooked. No rock is unexamined. I'm, I'm getting that message that kind of expression with these two cards, no, leaving no rock unturned. And that just feels very appropriate to kind of the thorough, more methodical energy I am tapping into with this group this month. And I think with Neptune going direct in the sign of Pisces, we should also say there may be a reality check regarding finances or resources or even your values. Um, that, that's kind of what Pisces represents for you. And you're, you're kind of getting your affairs in order, I feel. Really to fulfill your dreams. Or, or spending your money in a more mindful way. Towards things that actually feel nourishing to you. What else do we have for Aquarius? We have the Fool. This is the change or the challenge. And I, I'm feeling like this is more of a challenge where it's like you want to jump in, you want to just make things happen. Let's get some more advice here. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Actually, with the Two of Cups, some of you are ending connections or relationships that are no longer serving you. If I, you are kind of taking a leap of faith... Aquarius, how I'm really seeing this for you, it's like you are finally doing something for yourself. And a lot of people, when especially when they're single or honestly, I'll, I'll just say codependent, it's like they wait for other people to act or to jump with them. I feel like part of this energy is like taking the leap of faith yourself. That feels really, really important. Um, and a lot of the time when people want a relationship, they actually just want the life that they think that relationship will look like. What are those things that you could be doing now if you are single? And if you are in a relationship, maybe there is an ending, or maybe you are just ending a codependent cycle. Um... And I, I just want to clarify that this does not have to be a romantic relationship that is ending either. But I do feel like there was a promise between these two people. And, and I would even say like an emotional intimacy. There could be an ending there. Or this just could represent an ending in the way that you pursue or think about relationships overall. And you are turning a new leaf here or you are trying to. And I just want to say, um, don't jump into relationships. Do not jump into relationships. This is not the month to get into a new relationship. I, I mean, of course, say, taking everything I say with a grain of salt because this is a general reading. But if there is like a new relationship and things are moving really, really quickly, don't jump into a relationship. Don't do it. Um, I, I do feel like some of you could regret that. And if this is the right person for you, it's not like waiting an extra month, waiting to see how things develop is really going to affect things if this person is truly aligned and right for you. 
So take your time. Don't rush into relationships. Don't rush into commitments either, regardless of what kind of nature or context those relationships take on. Um, what else do we have happening this month? We have a new moon in Capricorn on the 23rd that happens just a couple of days after Celsius, after the sun enters into the sign of Capricorn. Um, and that really does feel like a new... That's a good time to create new habits. Um, it's a good time to connect spiritually. And I really feel like that is kind of a, a slowing down. I'm really feeling like Capricorn season is when things start to really slow down for you. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, Mother of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy, actually. Um, and I really do get the sign of nurture or the sense of nurture from this card. Letting things grow over time and tending to them, not looking for quick solutions, nurturing things, letting abundance come over time, letting wellness and happiness come over time. I also, um, I, I am actually getting a really specific message, obviously not going to apply to all of you. Some of you might um, be extra fertile this month. Just keep that in mind. Um, use protection. Be sure you are, you know, doing what you need to do in that respect. Um, not to scare anyone, but I, I do actually kind of get an energy of maybe like accidental pregnancy or like a pregnancy scare or something along those lines. I, I could get that for some of you actually um, with the Mother of Pentacles and kind of all of this emphasis in Gemini that does represent children for you actually. There could also just be a new beginning for children that you already have. Where did that card go? I just had a card fly out. You have the Eight of Swords. Some of you are feeling stuck or trapped in an energy. You might be feeling stuck in place. And it's like, if you're trying to move into a new direction, I really want to come back to the Turtle and Hummingbird cards. It's like, energetically, you might be trying to have your cake and eat it too. You might be trying to bring in too many things or prioritize too many things. And I feel like you kind of need to go back to something sweet and simple. Get to the core essence of what it is that you are pursuing or desiring with the hummingbird. Because I think of hummingbird as like the simple pleasure. Going back to the basics and maintaining a high energy from that place. And again, I feel like some of you really do have to let things go. Um, bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. There is luck, there are new cycles, there are new beginnings that are happening for this group. Very, very exciting ones. Um, but it really does feel like the Capricorn energy is, is strong this month in these readings, and it is kind of like getting down to business, not rushing into things, being kind of methodical, um, doing things the right way. And that's when they will manifest. That's when things are going to come, especially if you've been trying to work or have something happen or manifest something and it just hasn't been working. It's because you need to refine the energy. You need to align things more. And I think those are the messages I have for you this month, Aquarius. I do hope that this was helpful. Again, all of my links are in the description box. I have a sale going on this month, uh, so now is a great time to book with me. Make sure to hit like if you found this video helpful, and definitely comment down below how this resonates. It seems like there's a lot of growth, and it, it's not even just growth, it's like refinement. And growth in the sense of like letting things go that no longer serve you. You are shedding things. So comment down below what it is that you're shedding, especially coming into this new year. What is it that you want to release in order to experience kind of the emotion or states you're desiring? Let me know. I think writing that out could be really powerful, actually. 
and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, Aquarius. Have a happy December. Have happy holidays. I'm sending all my love your way.